All right, well, this is the, uh, the aileron for the uh, right wing panel. In an earlier video, uh, we showed how to, to round these. Actually, I just call them filler. I don't know what else to call them. The, uh, the hinge pin, of course, goes through that. Uh, we don't have a video on how to shape the, the, uh, the tip here of the aileron. Uh, what I said in the instructions is you just got to kind of take the general direction that it's going and, and bring it to a tip here. Uh, take some skill, uh, take some common sense, and above all, it takes some, space, uh, some uh, patience. But what we're going to do right now is, um, is finish this aileron. And uh, like I showed in the... Uh, the video on shaping the uh, the rudder we have the same thing here with the with the aileron ribs we're gonna we're gonna take it here and and basically plane off uh, this section here and this here and bring this down to a nice a nice taper uh, you don't want to use sandpaper to do this uh, we're going to use sandpaper, but what you want to use is a razor plane. This is made by Master Air Screw. I've tried all kinds of razor planes. This is by far the best. It only costs five or six bucks, and it's available from uh, any hobby outlet. This actually works extremely well for what we're going to do. The reason you want to use a razor plane is because you have a lot of control. It's not for finishing but it is for shaping and bringing, bringing every part that you want to shape right down to about maybe 1 32nd or maybe even a 64th of an inch, a half millimeter from, from where you want to be. So um, it doesn't really particularly matter where you start, but, but just to give you an idea, I'm not going to plane this part because it's, it's correct. We're, going to, we're just going to take a little bit off here. And I'm not going to take very much. Okay, so I just did that. <laughs> that was easy. I'm going to have to careful of the light there. I got my camera crew working on this. Trixie and Bubbles really appreciate the work they do. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more. You can draw back a bit, I think, and let me. Uh, Unlike the, uh, the rudder and the elevator, uh, this is so much larger. The sailor around on the wing, things get a little bit unwieldy and certainly will when we start to do the, uh, the leading edge on the wing. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. This is only going to take a minute to do this. I'm bringing this down probably, uh, oh, maybe not an eighth of an inch. I'm just bringing down the tips. I'm starting about halfway down the rib, halfway down toward the, uh, the trailing edge. And I'm almost done here. I'm not going to do the other side for this uh, demonstration because Obviously, it'll be done the same way. So, I have planed, I haven't gone all the way, but I've planed uh, quite a bit off. Now, here's what you do next. And this is really pretty important. You want to use a large sanding block, and you want to use 60 grit. 60 grit seems pretty coarse, but it is what you want to use. Um, we're going to do some final shaping with this. Uh, make sure that you're using a large sanding block. This is about four inches, maybe by six and a half. It seemed to come out about right because it took a, uh, a sheet of sandpaper and I was able to get three pieces to fit here uh, uh, with very little waste. And then I applied this <clears throat> piece of sandpaper to this block. It's just a block of plywood uh, with some of the uh, 3M77 adhesive works real well. You just uh, spray it onto the paper, not the wood. 
put it down like that and then bend over the edges so they don't they don't snag on you okay so <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we don't want to say whoops I'm gonna drop the thing we don't want to sand this or at least not sand it very much what we want to do is just bring this taper down right so that it meets on the on the uh, plywood trailing edge we don't want to sand the trailing edge either so here goes let's give it a try I'm just gonna do very lightly very easily now I'm not applying any pressure at all right here in fact I'm not applying any pressure at all the only pressure I'm applying is pretty much the weight of the sandy block if you're applying more pressure than that uh, you're probably going to make some mistakes uh, and you've got dull sandpaper always start with a nice fresh sheet of, uh, sheet of sandpaper okay When you start sanding something rough like this, it's slow go, it's awkward, and it's clumsy at first. Just stay with it, and it'll come out really, really nice. You want to use 60 grit because you want, you want this to do some, some cutting for you. If you use finer grit at, a, at this stage, you'll, you will be very tempted to press too hard to get it to cut and get it to shape. Again, I'm pressing, I'm, uh, I'm pressing almost not at all. This is coming out just the way I want it to. Notice I'm kind of working all over at once too. If you if you concentrate in one area, you're 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 bound to get a you're bound to get a you're bound to make a mistake. <laughs> you want to bring the whole thing right to where you want it, pretty much all at once. Now we're almost there. I can pick up this angle right here and then just sort of curve it around. This won't have much of a curve on it at all. In fact, if the eye, it'll probably be straight. It won't hurt if it is straight. The, uh, the end of the airfoils are, are pretty straight. Now, these are sticking out the other side, so they let me just I want you to see this. Now see how just in these couple of minutes I brought this down and this is coming right down exactly where I want it. In fact, it's about time to stop. You want to bring it down just like that, and it only took a couple of minutes using 60 grit. Once it's all done on both sides with 60 grit, then you can use 100 grit and probably should. And that, and again, no pressure. Brand new paper, sharp paper. Let the sandpaper do all the cutting. Do not let, do not use pressure to cut. I learned this uh, not that long ago. I was, you know, pressing real hard and uh, and I discovered that sandpaper is cheap, and uh, you can save yourself an awful lot of grief by just making sure you've got a fresh sheet of paper on this. I will change sandpaper, oh, well, surely every 10 minutes. Um, so this, well, this isn't done. I have to do the other side. I just wanted you to see that this is really all there is to it. To bring it down really nice and when it's covered uh, it'll just look beautiful so we'll go on to the next video